am I going? We knew free parking would be too good to be true. We were heading for the car park that we paid for, good for 24 hours for, and the policeman's just turned us down because it's been an accident by the bridge. Right, so. okay. we're practically left. like right left. by our car park. So our restricted access, don't then. Have we lost that? A free car park? No I more. Just... So thank you very much, selfish people, for crashing. Yeah. And ruining our car park. Yeah. Making us pay now for another car park and it's Could they the not one. have crashed higher up? I know. They have to be right by our car park. It's just like really inconsiderate. The shambles. Which pretty much sums up our kit. Most of Stonegate is haunted, so this should be good. We're going um, through Barton Hall at the moment. So both of these sides of the house. Oh, there it is. Black shop. <laughs> We are starting the tour of the haunted house on 35 Stonegate, and our information is on the tap out. Um, yeah, this is the witch's house. I think this house is actually over 500 years old. It's a witch's shop. Just the other side of the door, which is really cool. You should think it's amazing, like Peter uh, Ouija board with a Peter Pratt. It's, it's not, I'd say it's right. It's 35 Stonegate. No. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. This house has had lives flowing through it for a very long time. The site itself has been continually occupied for nearly 2,000 years. Awesome. During the late medieval period, it was owned by the Monastic Foundation of Bremen. The front section of the building was constructed in the late 1400s to serve as a shop and living accommodation. In 2003, while some repair work was being done on the floor of this room, Builders were amazed to discover the precious remains of time gone by. Broken medieval pots, shellfish, goose and cow bones, roof tiles, a bone hairpin and a copper brooch. These are just some of the finds you can see in each of the glass cabinets on either side of the fireplace. Come on. This house has had lives I can't see the top shelf. <laughs> wow. I'd like to take you on a journey. Imagine this fire is one that warms a cold afternoon in the 1600s. There's a biting breeze that blasts in through the front door of the shop as it is propped open with a sturdy but wonky chair. Out front, a, a man is hanging a sign above the door. A man who lived here once, who stood where you are standing. This is his home. He was a bookseller. Today he's fixing up the sign for his shop, the sign of the Bible. The sign still hangs there now, over 400 years later. And over the coming generations, this man's shop goes on to become a printer's <laughs> and in these walls a new literary form was printed. Dance, monkey, dance! <laughs> the Life and Tiles of Tristram Shandy by Lawrence Stern. Soon enough, the shop becomes princess by royal appointment to Queen Victoria, who took tea in this very parlour as a little girl. I'll take anyone's tea. <laughs> Can you see a little girl perched primly under the stained glass window? No. Some have. In more recent years, seances have been held, research conducted, and some very strange goings on have been reported. Oh, look at our music. But Lynx's ass, they zoomed in on it. <laughs> 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 The most famous ghost is a ghost called Tom who occupies the second floor seance room and apparently 15 different ghosts reported. 15? 14. Oh, 14. <laughs> Sorry. Maybe the motion censored? Oh, yeah, maybe. My husband and I 
our children had come to meet me from the office, and they stayed and had a cup of tea in the kitchen out the back. We decided it was time to go, and I went to get Lucy's coat from the hall. That's the hall you're in. And I saw her dash past me. She has long, long dark hair, Lucy. Oh. And I wasted it, it was then. And she dashed past me through the hall and into the office. Take your light out. Stay in glass window. That's the room we've just been in. And he's out of my colleague's desk. So I went over to the desk and bent down to pull her out. Stop messing around with you. It's time to go. I was just bent down looking under the desk. There was nothing there but the waste paper bin. And I turned around. And my daughter Lucy was stood out back with her dad and brother. It was just when I realised after what had happened that I felt a bit. Do you believe in the paranormal? Do you hear the calamity bell? But what's between? Can you hear them? Is there anybody there? It's brilliant. Up one the back stairs. Stairs. Oh, Fetching yeah. things in the pantry. Carrying up coals and bringing down ashes. Large oh, breakfast trays and careful not to spill the chamber pot. Did any of you catch what, what happened in this hallway? Because I missed the beginning. I was um, fiddling with my camera. She saw a little girl dash past and thought it was her daughter. What, um, between those two doors or up the stairs? Where did she just go? Just through the hallway and then okay. she like bent down to drag her up from under the desk and then I stopped listening after that. And I started listening and she saw her, I think it was her husband and her daughter were outside in the courtyard. And that's when she realised it wasn't her daughter. See, can't you feel we get them in the end? Yeah, we do get <laughs> them in the end. Okay, if you pee in the hallway of the witch's house. Little girl, are you here? Come and talk to us, little girl. Cat holds in a special machine that can re record your voice, so if you speak into it, we'll be able to hear you. What is your name? Little girl, little girl, why are you crying? Forever the professional. <laughs> it's not my fault. Green Day popped into my head and it had to be sung. How old are you, little girl? How did you die? Were you murdered? Do you mind us being here? We've got lots of equipment for you to come and play with. You see if you can make this light up, or if you want to speak into this, or if you want to sing a creepy nursery rhyme because children singing is very creepy. Can make our machine light up. See if you can make it go to red. There's nothing there. It's sort of like it's not quite on zero, but you can you tap on something. Tap like this. This is me tapping. Do some tapping for us. Do some tapping for us. Did you hear that? I did hear that. Mm. That was tapping. That was tapping. Can you do that again, please? Is that you, little girl? Tap once for yes. That is the first time I've ever heard tapping for the... That was my knees clicking. <laughs> See if you can do this again. I must be audio upstairs. I can hear voices. Go <clears throat> yeah, let's go up and find out. Okay, heading up the stairs now. Filming cat's arts now. Wrong <laughs> 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 you Calamity Bill fans out there. Oop, shit! <laughs> <laughs> I nearly fell down the stairs. I'll, I'll be filming you Richie. for you to watch this. And that's because my arse won't fit in the whole picture. <laughs> Yeah, it is motion sensitive, isn't it? Yeah, that's good, because it means we're not the same thing. If we're the first tour, why would there be audio up here? It doesn't kick off until we get here. On the left are some pictures. 
The first oh, one is of John Knowles, a gifted I artist specialising in stained like, glass. Knowles yeah. moved here no, with his wife like Jane in 1874, yeah, like and the building was home to them and their four like children sort of and their children. We can't guarantee that there's nobody in the this house. room. No, was exactly. Knowles' studio. And from it, Knowles created and renovated many beautiful pieces, even working on projects at York Minster. The Knowles held all sorts of workshops here. And dotted around the building were all kinds of beautiful artefacts from the period of this artistic era. Including the stained glass window we've just seen downstairs. What was that? Did you hear something? Nothing, perhaps. How can we hear what isn't there? We've got to go up again, then. I want to know what's in that door. Wait, because you said they were closed doors, isn't it? Oh, it lit up upstairs. <gasps> That's pretty cool. I'm totally paying attention to these things. <laughs> I just can't oh, make sound film. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. fine. Uh, trip advisor. <laughs> I'm so glad it was you, not me. Because <laughs> if I went first, I'd have done the same. <laughs> Did they like it upstairs, or come back down to here? I don't know. Did they go up the stairs? Oh, well, the audio's not kicking off, is it? So maybe we. Did. Yeah, it did light up the stairs. Which wasn't lit before. I wasn't really listening. Staircase here. Oh, into a really weird loft section. Here comes a candle to light you to bed. Here comes a chopper to chop off your head. Dark and dingy corners. Cold floorboards and rattling in the rafters. Take a seat. Are you sitting comfortably? Dark presences have been reported in this part of the house. Heaviness and tightness felt enveloping the chest and a quickening of the blood. A certain stillness. A quality of thickness in the air. A dusty presence. It seeps through the cracks under the floorboards, twists and turns, <laughs> eases its way through the eaves above your head. This, is a this room is a bedroom once. Somebody slept in here once. A young girl with dry red hands, calloused and raw from too much scrubbing, and a silent secret swelling in her belly. I love you and feed you and take your me back to market. You can sleep up here in my little bed and we can keep each other warm. But for now, I'll just stroke you. Ooh. Stroke me. Ooh. You Ooh, hello. me. Ah! Ah! ghost. It's no good hugging it. It won't come back. <coughs> Keep your legs still while I get you clean. Look at the state here. I've never seen so much fuss. You did well for a lass so small, I'll give you that. You're barely a baby yourself, and in all my days I've never seen a young one push so hard. It's a shame it we're all for now in the end. Here, put it down, will you? There's no breath in it. Give it here. Don't squeeze it so. Poor little corpse. Get your hands off her! And now you've found your tongue, you can tell us whose it is, can you? Don't let me wrap it up. I can't bear to see them little limbs dangling like that. Just leave us alone! Sit up proper. Clean your bloody legs off. Cut this cord. <laughs> You'll leave. You'll be back down to work in that pantry in no time, I tell you. <laughs> Come on, lass, hold thyself. Priest will be here soon. Don't want you wailing and shrieking like a she-devil. You'll scare the living wits from him. She-devil. <laughs> you never mind what your mistress will say. That's better. Hold thyself. 
Be still and swallow it. As you go, you'll see an old doorway to your right. Climb through it. We do get to go into that little laugh. Awesome. I was going to go in there anyway. This room does feel different. It doesn't. I was thinking that, but then I thought, is it just psychological? I feel really comfortable in here. I like it. I don't feel uncomfortable, but I feel the air is slightly heavier up here. I No, I, I really like this room. I, I do feel really comfortable in this room, but I'm sure I'm going to breathe a little bit. Yeah, no, that's what I feel. That's what I mean by the air is thicker. It's like I used my to breathing live here. is more laboured. Yeah. We were tenants, me and my mum. I chose this bedroom when we moved in. I quite like the sloping floors. I was only eleven. Is it someone else? My bed to used to slide down because of the slope. I just remembered that. I had to shove it back up every few days. One afternoon, I just got this feeling like I had to look up. I was sitting You're on the floor to be mixed and I looked up at the door. And there was a man stood looking at me. He had his hands so inside the door, this next door and he was sort of leaning into it. And I just kept looking at him and then suddenly he wasn't there anymore. It was the most weird moment of my entire life. I can't explain it. He was just watching me. It really freaked me out. This room particularly gives me the heebie-jeebies. Mum! Mum, come here! Here's what? No, I, I felt it before I even came up here when I was looking at it. I'll get to bed, will ya? Your feet are like ice. Wait, get under the rugs. Get There's definitely you, something different about this. I'm telling you, Rasa, anyway. Yeah. I saw the midwife on the way out. Not and it's this corner that I'm standing in. If you would definitely have to keep it here. I want you back to be able to take it, that's what I want to know. I think I hear him. Pretend to be asleep. I like this little corner. He's gone. This lodge manages to freeze the living night out of me every time he stands outside the door like that. Let's thank heaven he doesn't see fit to enter the room. Mm, pray never does. He's gone for now. Oh, look at that, creepy. Ooh. I like the trunk. There's a dead baby in there. Professional Calamityville, we're paying attention. Wow, this is like small even for us. <laughs> oh my god. I'd love to come here at night. And me. <laughs> Shame we couldn't afford that. <laughs> It was in this room, a faded room. Oh, really? I, I forced her to take them down. Mm -hmm. Some of these oak panels were removed, and builders discovered the blurred, hazy remains that, of what was once an intricate piece from the 1500s. Oh, yeah. I want to show if it was you I, moving. I, I, cre I creaked it. Was it that? No, it, it came from behind us. It was in the same spot where the original still lies hidden. I don't know whether something is ahead of us that we don't know about. It was round about the time of all the repair work that this strange thing started to happen in number 35. It was gorgeous panel. Eventually, certain members of staff refused to be left in the building or even a room on their own. Fed up of searching for the absent visitors they heard come through a door, or being caught off guard by an unruly mop box, or bottle top, or a book flying from a shelf. Bundles of sage were burned on many occasions, but still, the reports of uneasiness came thick and fast. All spoke of a deep sadness lay embedded in these walls, a sadness steeped in violence.
We're in the red room now. I found the creaky floorboard. Richard's shop. Nina's creaking floorboard. <laughs> Is there any room in here? Let me move off it. In this room. Oh, we've been moved on. Oh, reflections. Oh, it's a room. Look at reflection. No. Look at yourself. No. Look at yourself. No. Look at yourself. No. Look at yourself. No. Hold up your hand. See how your images hold up their hands too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm In each reflection, the each reflection, you can see a point just a fraction further back in time. What if bricks and mortar also capture Get images of hand the hand 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 hand. What if something in the timber frame of a building or the crystalline structure of a stone acts like a psychic camera? If it's dark, if it's quiet, if you are silent and sensitive, you can see what has gone wrong before. This may be why so many people report exactly the same ghosts doing exactly the same things. Are all ghosts chained by the walls around them, or do some move from place to place? Look at the strange, faint image of yourself on the curved wall. You are being scanned by a system of polycontrast interference photography. Pippi! A method of monitoring the ethereal world developed by Professor Harry Oldfield. Dr. Oldfield's work expands on the tradition of curly photography designed to depict oh. your other living being. On this wall, you are seeing neither your temporary flesh nor your eternal spirit. <laughs> you are witnessing what men might call your spectral forms as you move. You should do Bohemian Rhapsody. Well, that yeah, that's that that actually Does it depart too? Is it the poor boy from a poor family? In his life, in his consciousity. Did he know the dead? Is he gay? Is he gay? Perhaps this depends on what's haunting you. Just be like that. Be like that. Be like It's all good. It's all good. It was my bag. Go to the window on the other side of the room. Look at the scene. This is artwork from the Victorian era, painted by John Knowles, of whom we spoke earlier. If only we looked up more often, we might see something that we would otherwise have missed. Hey, people eating! Hey, people on the streets! Now, look out of the window and down onto the street below. <laughs> they already are. Is Stonegate busy? Look at the people as they pass. Do they look up? No one's looking up so far. Most of them will walk right on by. To them, you might as well be a ghost. Oh, there's a pigeon. So I walked this very street in the 1700s Where and was paraded girls? before the people in makeshift Why can't they see us? Final journey to the gallows. Guy Fawkes of the Gunpowder Plot you was there, born on Stingate no. in 1570. Some say you the tradition there. of paying you, for the gun. You, I'm sure you're one of the sensitive. You're looking at the wrong the building. Room. There's one, pick me! Little boy spotted us. Look to your right. A few doors up is 41. <laughs> doesn't home care. Home to just the ghost doesn't of a care. small child from the 1800s. There's a small child. Through the Where'd he go? <laughs> there have been he went underneath us. It's, it's a ghost. That's why he can see us. He's gone. The little boy is gone. Another. He's clearly and a ghost. And a little girl has been seen in the shop front on numerous occasions. Which one? 41. Which is 41? Now, look to your left, the other way. 
You will see a sign that hangs across the width of the street. Yes, yield. Joining star. the buildings on one side of the road oh, to the buildings on the other. Yep. It's drawing your attention to the old Star Inn. A pub set back behind Stonegate itself. It's only accessible through an alley, one of York's many haunted snickerways. The old anyway, Star Inn boy. dates back to 1644. And the cellar is believed to date back to the 10th century. During the Civil War, the cellar was used as a makeshift operating room for the wounded. To two cats who were accidentally bricked up within the walls and heard desperately scratching and scampering oh, until they died. Oh, there's a cat. stone cat. Dogs have often been seen to start oh, howling and barking cats. for no apparent reason. Where have seen it? Perhaps it's by there. Picking up on a ghostly feline scent. But this is a dog. This is a dog. Oi, dog. Can you, can you see us? Oh, I Look see the down the stone gate, past the star. On the left is the punch bowl. Here, a former landlord burned to death. Many have seen the ghost of a young woman who still desperately tries to escape the fatal, lusty advances of a drunken customer. Her shoes clatter across the floorboards. Screams echo in the hall. <laughs> oh, my disc is full. There's the grey lady, who, after committing suicide, tirelessly walks the night searching for her lover. She saw me! If it's any ghost cats, we have four cats at home. Can you mew for us? Why are you still here? Can you not move on or do you choose to stay? My camera. It's very noisy here. Mm. There's a lot of noises coming from outside. Yeah, yeah the windows are... I mean, the sounds are coming from outside. There's maybe people following us now, maybe other yeah, people um, doing yeah, so the door is the stairwell and that goes straight into the room that she briefed us. And there you go then. And I heard them when we came into this room. Yeah. That was my bag against the window. I was my elbow against the wind. We should give up on this. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trapped here? Would you like to follow us home? There's not much space in the mini, but we can sit in the cool box. We, we've cleared some of that. You'll take up less space than James the Hottie anyway. Yeah. Because. Mm -hmm. Ghosts don't really take up physical space, do they? Well, no, and our, our mum banned us from bringing pets home, so she, but she said nothing about ghosts and hotties. So if we can find hottie James, then we can bundle him somewhere. He's not going to fit. tits! I'll just format it into my uh, memory card instead of my disc. The mirror shot, because look, we, we can, look, we're the mirrors are reflecting each other, so we we can create a wormhole <laughs> in our picture, right? Can we stand in the wormhole, people? Do you think this place is haunted? Upstairs, is it? Yeah, I'm sure she says upstairs. <laughs> oh. This is a seance room. This is where Tom haunts. This is the room that has sent many back downstairs from whence they came, the hairs on their arms and the backs of their necks standing up straight, the sound of their own blood rushing through their ears, freezing cold with fear. Whisper, that's not the hand. So people are meant to sit in this room in the dark. Currently, this yeah. room is set up for sales. Psychics, mediums, and paranormal investigators from all over the world have communicated with lost spirits around this table. What can you see? Nothing. Beyond the table. Okay, yeah, that's really cool. Maybe you. Over here. 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 Over
I cook. Is there anything on top of it? You can't reach the skull. Yes, mm. No, it's no, glass. Are you deaf? Here I am, Mister. I thought I might miss this. Yeah, I've got a planchet. Oh, I'll yeah. tell you, wench. How are yours, mistress? They sting and they weep. This one's worse. Let's get these drapes off and have a look. What's the matter, old woman? Is that your wench? What do you dream of, old woman? Who's there? What haunts your soul? Shall I speak of each night's horror? Tell how I lie in my bed and dream a dream that many people pass through my bed chin. Walk Didn't right dare. across the foot <laughs> of my bed. Not one looks at me. And I'll go on with the journey, except one. A monk. A holy man. He wears a hood over his face. I cannot see it. He walks on with all the others and suddenly he stops at the foot of my bed. He stops. Then still and slow. So slowly. He turns his head. And I know. I know I dream and yet I cannot wake. He turns towards me and he looks at me with this faceless gaze. I know what dread is coming, and it brings less pain to wait for what harsh judgment he seems fit to bestow on me than fight or kick or scream in torment. What young woman's strength I once commanded is now lapsed into nothing but the feeble protest of an old, forlorn and wispy crone. His long, cold, holy fingers around me throat, and they twist and grip with an intensity that knows no mercy, and I feel my eyes burning in pain, and my tongue gagging in my neck, and all as I pray to let me die. <laughs> I'm released to my sweat no, so tricks, and the horror of my own self inflicted prison. Tell us more of your dreams, old woman. What put them we'll leave this place. We'll stay. Do you think because I cannot see you, I cannot hurt you? We've come to hear your tale. You pity me, this frail form. We come to learn your heart. What do you know of my past? We stand ready to hear, to unburden you. Oh, get out! It's you! Get out! Now he walks in daylight! We yearn to hear your confession. Take your cold, bony fingers away! Away! Mistress, away. mistress please, mistress! There's a shadow over there that makes it look like you're feeling it. We now. come to help, can you see that shadow? You? I can see when it, but the, the camera's not picking it up as much. Uh, picking up the light on the right hand side, not the left. Uh, can you see it then? Uh, no. Oh, hang on, I can see it slightly better. Old where, woman. Where is that? In the corner. Old oh, woman. Oh, yeah. Against the Are you there? She's gone. Returned to her fragmented past, tormented by her dreams. And yeah. whom should Which we call Which room is meant next? to be haunted by 15 ghosts? Who or what will ghosts. manifest here? I think it's here, just 14 ghosts in here in general. In the dark, oh, this room's haunted by Above this Tom. most ancient of streets. Hey Tom! Hey Tom! Unseen Tom. souls drift around us. They await their turn just out of our grasp. We gather here, receptive, alert, ready to channel the intentions of the dead. Some souls resist. But some are desperate to be heard. They shriek and moan and cry, pour out their unsaid secrets. Their words are howling, garbled mess of all they wish they'd said in life. They miss their homes of living flesh. They envy our red These blood hearts. Recorded. Beating under I'm our lips. Getting on my nerves. I want to talk to Tom. Just I want one to talk more to Tom. taste of life. Once the fabric's torn, how do we journey through the shadows of this world? These ancient souls will follow you. Their faces lurking in the dark, looming figures behind the glass. 
I want it. There are hints of footsteps just around that bend. A noise. A far off high pitched scream. Cold spots that freeze us to our core. It's cold in this room though, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Can I keep the curtains or closed? What so they get will manifest in next. In the day. And where? And when? Now it's time to leave this place. Yes, we're going to talk to Tom. This yeah. house Shush of old. now. We've got things to do. Take your journey back down the stairs, all the way down, back down to the world below. Nope. Take care when no, you turn you. the handle. Make us. Will it snatch <laughs> up from the other side? Take care when you descend the stairs. <clears throat> Will they clutch at your ankles? Watch your step as you leave. Because we're clumsy. Yeah. <laughs> Take care, my friends. Take care. Take care. EVP in the seance room at 35 Stone Gate. Tom, are you here? Move one chair over. No, it's not. Yeah, there it is. It's further back. Oh. Hang on. Are you going to do the Ouija? Yeah. Now that I can see what that is. Oh, it's Nemesis now. I like Nemesis now stuff. Tom, are you here? What about any other ghosts? Are you here? Is this... It does move, yeah. If there are any ghosts in here, can we use our energies to push this planchette? The K2 has gone up since we've... Oh. I know the Gather twins down. are dead on the inside, but try and use their energy as much as possible. We have Red Bull energy in store. We can use that. <laughs> come on, Tom, would you like to come and talk to us? Come and say hello. We're friendly. Or tell us to bugger off. We, we won't, but, you know, tell us to bugger <laughs> off. Is there anyone else in this room who wants to speak to us? My fingers look so sausage-like. <laughs> even got gloves on. <laughs> I've got tiny fingers, a twiglet finger, Cadbury's fingers fingers. Come on Tom, come and move this. Were you murdered here? Why is Tom here? I don't know, just as he hurts it. Tell us, tell us why you're here Tom, because we haven't actually researched this. Well, there was nothing in the research, so it just said it was haunted by Tom. Why are you here? That's me moving tripod. We had some success with the tapping downstairs. I'm going to tap. Will you tap out the same pattern for me, please? noises you can hear in the background are from outside. Yeah, there's uh, people outside talking. Shut up, people. We're busy. OK, Tom, I'm going to tap again. Can you repeat it, please? You can come and touch one of us if you like. Nina's already groped a man today. It wasn't today, it was yesterday. It's when I fell off the curb. Oh, yeah. Either the days are blurred into one or you group a lot of people in York. <laughs> <laughs> and she mounted the tour guide. She did. I she did mount the tour guide. <laughs> she mounted the hottie tour guide. It was shameless. He dared me to hover three feet above the ground. What was I supposed to do? That was ingenious. It was ingenious. <laughs> that was a different, and if I'd been that man, I could have mounted the, the hottie tour guide. Wasted. Hey, he saw up your skirt and yanked you round the table. <laughs> <laughs> Hosted your leg up high. He did. It was almost up on the shoulder. I don't know what the hell. I'm vibrating. Yeah. <laughs> it's Rian. Hi, Rian. Yeah, we're doing a little seancey thing in the witch's room upstairs at the moment. <laughs> Sat in pitch black trying to talk to some dead dude called Tom, but he's not playing game. I am Tom. <laughs> <laughs> we just got the EVP running. <laughs> we recorded you saying that. Tom. 
Come to us, Tom. Where are you, Tom? At least it's not William. Yeah. Come on, Tom. You're <coughs> from Cardiff. At least give us something. Anything? Come on, Tom, do some tapping. That was me. The lemon's in the car. That's no use to me. Come on, Tom. Come and say hello. Move the planchette. We're speaking to the machine. Let's see if you still feel sick when we leave. Mm, it's just certainly I, I, I want to heave. And it's not like a hunger sickness or anything, is it? No, I'm not hungry. Because, I mean, I'd put it down to how you've been feeling the past couple of weeks, but you've been fine over the past couple of days. days. Yeah, I haven't felt sick now for days, but... Yeah. That was you shifting out. That, that was me shifting on the chair. That was me, I moved the planchette. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we suck at that. Come on, ghosties. Apparently there's 14 ghosties here. Come and say hello. There's got to be one in this room with us right now. Come and surround the table. All of you. There's enough chairs. Well, there's not, but you can share. And pull up a chair. Join us at the table. That would be awesome. No other show has had ghosts sitting around the seance table with us. There's six, nine chairs and there's three of us and there are 12. So this is Nights of the Round Table, 12 nights. There you go then. I'm King Arthur. Are you not? I'm the rest of them. No, you don't want to come and talk to us, Tom. Are you still feeling sick, Cap? Yeah. Make Lynx feel sick. See if you can do that. Squeeze her inside, like bagpipes. Don't, because I need to wee. <laughs> <laughs> come on, Tom. Come on, touch her in the face. Give us a poke. Tweak your nipples. <laughs> <laughs> You're no mistaking that. Oh. <laughs> I have to get through several layers, though. Whisper in a cauliflower ear. <laughs> Flick him on the nose. <laughs> <laughs> it's piggy enough. <laughs> Tickle Neen's feet. Do not do that. I will kick you, Tom. <laughs> come on, Tom. You too scared to come and talk to us? We're nice people, really. Just because we take the piss and break out into random dance routines doesn't mean we're not nice people. He's shy. Tom's too shy to talk to us. He doesn't... He's just not that important enough, really. Call yourself a ghost. Apparently the tour lasts for half an hour. We've been in here an hour already. <laughs> <laughs> Getting our money's worth. Hells yeah. Oh, God. Oh, did I catch you falling down the stairs, then? No, I sort of... Oh, I just sort of had a bit of a mistake. A likely story. <laughs> a few days. You can film Cat running down the stairs, you can love me. Oh, God. Yeah! <laughs> I don't know if I picked it up because uh, you're quite dark. Oh, no! I was just about to switch my light on. <laughs> I was just joking. 41 Stonegate, a six-year-old Victorian girl fell to her death on the staircase and now haunts this place. She can be heard walking the stairs and also seen sitting on top of the shop crash tower. <gasps> the armory! Pirate ship! Hey! Oh. 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 
love that. Oh my shirt. god, look at them. Look at the pirate ship. Yeah. Look at these bagos. They only eight quid. They left it up to the Yeah. We're taking anything back, we're taking that. Look at that, look at him. He's cool. Dread think how much he He's a side table. How badass would that Red Bull look on him? <laughs> rolling. Rolling! <laughs> um, old, ye old starting. It dates back to 1644, although some historians believe the cellar to be much older. Um, in the cellar, the ghostly screams of Roman soldiers are heard. Um, so it was used as a makeshift hospital, hospital during the English Civil War and Royalist soldiers were... So it's Royalist, not Roman, sorry. Um, <laughs> Royalist soldiers... <laughs> Forever the professional! <laughs> I saw an R, an R and an O and I went with it. <laughs> Nevco said to haunt the purpose an old lady dressed in black. Um, she was seen descending the staircase on the upper floor. Um, goes with two black cats. And that is as the cats are bricked up in the pillar between the door and the bar. And occasionally, locals who have brought their dogs in, the dogs have growled, snarled, and leapt towards the pillar. We need to go get a dog off someone. Yeah, we, yeah, we need to follow the dog. dog. <laughs> that was um, a really cute colleague. It said the cats have bricked up to protect the building against fire and ill luck, which is standard practice of both buildings. Did this place burn down? Yeah, and this place is <laughs> So the cats did that work? Well, they did do a very good job because they're still standing. It could have been bad. A typical cat. Is this cat fire when like the landlord died? You know, something was in it. Yeah, that's what it said in uh, the mental shot. It doesn't say that here, but you know, it would be typical. You put a cat in to protect the building and it screws you over and burns it down. Just speaking to the barmaid, it's actually the first time we asked. Yeah. yeah, the first time we asked, it was her second day there, so <laughs> she might be a little bit spooked, she didn't know about the ghosts. But yeah, we were talking to one Sonia, and she said that their cellars, the, the place used to be a hospital, and the cellars used to be a morgue. And there's um, a woman who was there, her husband went off to war, was meant to come back here, and never returned, so she saw And he said he'd meet her here. So they're sort of still here trying to find each other. Ah, that's that haunted window, isn't it? The plague house. That house there is where a um, little girl caught the plague. Her parents locked her in the bedroom and then left York and she was like banging on the window and that. People have seen her in the window. I know a couple live there now. People still see this little girl in the window. Nobody would go for her and she basically just died. She's seen sort of a few times a week, just sort of banging on the window trying to get out. I wish I got stuck behind last night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is when Neem was the nun. Yeah. <laughs> this is Treasure's House. Um, it's sort of mixed between 17th, 16th and 17th century buildings. Um, the apprentice plumber, Harry Martindale, was working in the cellar in um, 1953 and saw a bunch of Roman soldiers walking, sort of heads bowed, like, like they've lost, basically. They were at knee height and it said that they were walking on the path of an old Roman road. So. I find a lot of soldiers that always, it's, you never see below their knees. Yeah, and uh, apparently staff and other workers have seen the Roman and there's also some other ghosts, a dog, a black cat, George Aylesby, killed in a duel, and Frank Green, who converted the interior into what it is today. Apparently, the tapestry room has an oppressive atmosphere, and the wife of a former owner murdered him after he was basically shagging too many women, and she was like, I've had enough of you, you're dead, and yeah, he died here. So which one are we looking for? I don't know, bed and arch. I haven't seen another one. I hear this is not, as you can see, bed and arch because we can't find it. We're close to bed and hall though. Yeah. Does that count? So we're in the vicinity. We're about to get run over by an ambulance. Um, it's clamped, you felt. 
Petenash, in the 19th century, there was an orphanage known as the York Industrial Ragged School and it was the site of gruesome murders. The master spent very little on clothing and feeding his children, so they died. Any normal person would do, he locked their corpses in the cupboard. And that was a stank. Oh yeah. God. I mean, I, decomp smells at, at, sort of, at the best of times and just have a hurry to And children smell at the best of times. And wedging them in there. Some might have been a bit gwishy by Amongst the Christmas decorations. Yeah. <laughs> and when he thought he heard the terrified screams. And in a rage, I'm not quite sure why this sort of sparked rage in him, not fear. In a rage, he killed the other children. And the next morning, he was brought to an asylum. But apparently, the ghosts are still there, and people were caught hearing screaming and laughter. They walk past the arch to feel a small child take them by the hand. So, this arch exists somewhere. Yeah, the arch exists somewhere because people are sort of still hearing the, the children. We can see the arches in the wall in the distance, but we can't see They don't seem to be named, so we're not arch. sure which one is the better arch. Mm -hmm. so we might just go in stand by an arch and claim it as that one. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Holy Trinity Church where the earth of Northumberland is meant to be seen wandering, looking for his lost head. Can't see him here today. Can anyone see him here today? We, d we just have to be really quick because we've got like 10 minutes to get back to our car park and turn on the other side. So that was the Holy Trinity Church. <laughs> Mad Alice Lane. K2 is going nuts. Let's get. Mad Alice was executed in 1825 for the sole reason of being mad. She finally drifts along this lane here. I actually don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, would go, she would go down, she yeah. would come and investigate this lane. Oh, my darling. Love these little passageways in your as oh, well. They're, they're just so cool. A lot of electricity. Yeah. Oh. Is that mad Alice there? Did she make the third? Who? Oh. We no longer have electricity. Oh, oh. But I am away from Is it this wire? There's not any wires or anything about them. So unless there's... Yeah, either there's something underneath or it's just in the walls of the house. Because we've got houses either side of us. Yeah, it, it, it could be mad bad. But it's still kicking off out there as well, isn't it? Yeah. I think the k 2s broken. Say that is extremely harsh. Yeah. It appears we can't leave here. <laughs> uh, we've been driving around, lost on ring roads, and everywhere we go, we seem to have picked the wrong direction, and we are trapped in your <laughs> the winning post. That is definitely not a place we would end up. No. <laughs> yeah, we've just been sort of circling around, taking different roads. Dublin back, take a different road, Dublin back, and God knows where we are now, we are trapped.